Welcome back to Magic Anstrat. I'm Farf. And uh, okay, so this isn't actually straight. I mean, hmm. This is kind of a hard pick. It, there, no really good first picks here. I don't think. Maybe like Chandra or Elspeth. Uh, I think I'd rather want to rather just play blue white control and Elspeth is a good finisher in that deck, so I'll go with that. <coughs> well there's a parallax wave. Which is a very powerful card, so I'm gonna take it. Uh, Natural Order is a card to look out for, probably. Yeah, I uh, think. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll take the wave. It's decent in control decks, too, so. Okay, Consecrated Sphinx is uh, like the best blue finisher, one of the best control creatures overall. Uh, Ajani Vengeant is good, but uh, <laughs> I was red white last game, uh, last, last cube, and I mean that doesn't mean I can't be again, but. I think I take the Sphinx here. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse. Okay. Dig through time or time warp um, or spell skite or marsh flats. And I think dig through time is the best. Time warp is uh, it's fine. It's not nothing insane. So dig through time can be very insane though. So I'll take that. Monotide. Temple of Deceit and Deep Analysis. So I actually really like Mana Tithe, those kind of effects, but uh, uh, I think I can get similar cards seeing as I'm playing blue. And Deep Analysis is a good card, so I'll take that. I think it's uh, this first, then Mana Tithe. Then table of the seat. I think these are close. Close and this is a bit behind. Uh, I mean, it's off color. It's just one color, but it's fine because scry is good. Which, uh, yeah, by now you probably know that. With Theros be having been been out for a while now. <coughs> Balzarek, I'm not red. Remove soul. I want to play though, so. Yep, it's a good card. Uh, Deliver of Secrets, obviously not uh, for this deck. Well, I might end up more aggressive than I think, but right now with the Consecrated Sphinx, Elspeth deck, it's not. And Deliver isn't even that great in uh, Cube. You rarely get enough. Instance and sources to make it good, good enough, I should say. Okay. Well, there's much, not much here. I could take Godless Shrine in case I get a good fetch land. Um, 
Yeah, I really could get at this. Well, I guess those kind of sticks are pretty scary. But they don't have, like, they have Grizzle brand, I guess. So that's if there's a reanimated deck. But they're not that powerful. I mean, the combo decks aren't generally good enough. So I think I'll just take this in case I'll play it. And the drown isn't good in a control deck, so I'll take a tem temple. Again, scry is good. And yeah, it's a fine pick. Obviously, I'm not locked into a white, but these are two strong cards, so. <clears throat> Ninvala, probably not what I'm looking for. Uh, but neither. Or any of these if I'm if this is good I'm probably losing anyway okay I'll take it in case it's good against some deck I might have to play it and if I change the style of the deck maybe it's good but uh, probably not I'll play a precinct captain as a like against aggressive decks it's good But right now I have six playables and a land. A repeal, no yield. That's nice. Could take Saurian, seeing as I've got the shrine, but I think. Yeah, repeal is a good card, so I'll take that. And. Sure, Reclamation Sage might be annoying if I. Yeah, see, <laughs> people really underestimate this card. It's it's much better than you, you might think. Four spike and Malatide is uh, often uh, it's often like yeah it, uh, the last if you watched my last cube I actually won a game almost entirely on just Malatide because I countered his uh, uh, his reanimation spell. Basically, just locking the game out. So, yeah. Well, Treachery is uh, an awesome card, and there's really not much else. Sun Titan is. Well, yeah, it's a 6 6. That's basically it. There's an animate dead, so. Uh, look out for the, Look out for that. Probably just goes into some value deck though. But yeah, Treachery is like the second best card here, probably after Avenger of Sendikar. So yeah. Elish Norn or Monolith or Dissipate. But I think I take Elish Norn, it's a really, really great card. Uh, yeah, it's one of the best finishers. <coughs> Goes great with Elspeth. Uh, and there's a reanimate, but yeah. Just keep track of the cards, I guess. Yeah, I'll take it. I'd like to have a dissipate, but uh, yeah. Now I don't need too many more finishers. And I took uh, Isamar over Delver because in case I face a really aggressive deck, I might want to side this in. So, hmm, Jace Balaran. Oh, Mindstone, though. Hmm. That's actually close. That gets me closer to my big drops. Now I think I have enough enough advantage that I can play Mindstone. Yeah, Mindstone is like the perfect card. So yeah, I'm gonna take it. <laughs> it seems crazy, but uh, I think I think it's actually the best pick here. 
there was also Spin Pierce. It's just a fine card, not it's not close to a Jace or Mindstone though. Not oh, force of win, nice. Yeah, I'll take I'll take a force of win. Happy to take it. Precursor Golem is a fine card that I have. Yeah. Basically four four finishers. If I get a good one with treachery. Um yeah, and force of will is great, so I don't need much reason to pick it. <laughs> if I can play it, which I can, because I have already I have more blue cards than white cards, so The second pack looked a lot better than the first pack. Well, already, so I haven't even gotten through it all yet. And... Oh. Well... Mm, this is actually hard. It's definitely hard. Cancer's uh, Judgment is a good card to have. It answers everything. But <laughs> again, I think I need to take the Sphere of the Suns here. It's just so good. And also Counterspell is a good card too. I mean, this this is hard, but I think the Sphere of the Suns is the best here. And it's possible that one of these wheels... Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So... Uh, three cards will wheel. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, I'll take the sphere. Ancient tomb. Probably not what I'm looking for in a control deck. Uh, Gilded Lotus. Uh, yeah, not really what I'm looking for either. Uh, it's just too much mana. <laughs> I don't. I don't think I need that. I'll take a hero of blade hold. It's uh, It can win games by itself, so it's a fine threat even if I'm a control deck. Especially if I. If I don't manage to pick up any. Any sweepers. I hope I do, but. There's a Bloodstained Mire, which I, I could take the Shrine, but then it's only good if I get another another card. I'll take uh, the Water Grave, is probably better. Revan Arc, not what I'm looking for, I can't return anything, so... Yeah, Water Grave it is. Ajani, obviously not good in, in Control. Late's pleasure is fine, but I'll take it. Uh, yeah, another off color card. Mm, Sun Titan is not good enough. Uh, I'll take that. It might be annoying against me. Don't want to play against Ravages of War. And there's the reanimate, so it's looking like there's no deck for it, which is good. I mean, I'm not really the deck that gets crushed by that kind of deck, but... Uh, sure. Sorry. <clears throat> so I need to find some... A lot of cards to play here, actually. Which might be hard. <laughs> I might uh, get short on playables. I guess I need uh, eight cards. I can probably get. Hopefully, I can find eight playables. If not, I'll take like. I'll play something like uh, the precinct captain is fine. And uh, yeah, the mala I suppose is okay. If I find some good fetches, I can even run Sorin. So it should be okay, I think. OK. 
Okay. Bio, not what I'm looking for, obviously. Uh, path to exile. Dissolve. Or Brago. Brago's not good. Well, it's fine with the like treachery. Well, let's see here. It's good with the these cards, kind of. Paradox Wave, it's great with. Uh, good with treachery and Elspeth. Well, okay. No. Uh, well, the cube has been lowered in power a lot. So I think I'll take the path or will dissolve. Because it's more creature focused. Uh, if this was power cube, obviously dissolve wouldn't be here, so doesn't doesn't really matter. Oh there's a flooded strand which would be enable <coughs> which would enable me to play the watery grave and the godless shrine right well I wouldn't really have to but I could which uh, then I could play Sorin. Uh, I could take Wall of Omens or Unexpectedly Absent. And I think I want uh, Wall of Omens. Yeah. It's a yeah, it's a good card. Nothing more to it, basically. Yeah. Oh, and there's a, um, an Elspeth. Nice. Into the Royal, Pact of Negation, Frost Titan are all good cards. But Elspeth is, uh, yeah, it's one of the best planeswalkers, so. Let's take an Elspeth. And there's a Banishing Light, which is. It's good, not as good as the Wrath, but uh, it's uh, it's kind of close. Uh, Thrawn Dynamo. It's uh, it's better than Gilded Lotus for sure, but uh, I don't think I want it. I'll take a Bashing Light. Armageddon, which I don't want to play against. Really don't want to play against. Prestation Angel won't do much, and I. Think I can do without playing this member, so I'll take. <laughs> well, hate drafting doesn't matter, doesn't make sense really. Uh, seeing as the Ravagers of War also went really late, so I guess it doesn't make sense. Could play Merfolk Looter, or just play Restoration Angel and. Well, maybe underground C, and then I can play the rest of the Soren. Okay. Yeah. Well, maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> That's too late now. Uh, Angel of Eos does nothing. Ratchet Bomb. With the Banishing Lights and Mind Stones. And don't think I need that. Uh, take a Temple of Science, makes it even easier. Now okay, I, I can just straight up play it. Oh, <sighs> do you see it? Do you see the card? I'm really happy. <laughs> Came around. Yes, Wrath of God, come here. Yeah, that's just a perfect card. That makes the deck a lot better. But I'm still slow, low on playable, so I guess that's an issue. Hopefully, something wheels. Negate is uh, it's a decent main deckable card. No, nothing else here. And Bureau Rights. Let's see, one, two. Those are basically <laughs> those are basically the good targets. Hero of Blade Hold is fine. 
Um, maybe. Maybe. Synchronate is a, a good sideboard card against other control decks. Exhume. <laughs> Reanimate the deck. Oh, okay, no one's playing that. Mm, which I'm happy to see. So I actually have 22 cards, which is nice. Uh, maybe I can even choose some cards that I don't want to play. <laughs> like Wrath of God and Hero of Blade, all this isn't really a combo. combo. Uh, I don't think Ambiorial Rights is that good. A lot of, <coughs> a lot of, <laughs> a lot of uh, tap lands. Um, which might be, well, it's probably not a problem. Maybe I won't be able to keep my tied up each game, but I think that's fine. Do I want main deck scene collector. I mean. Sorry, I'm talking to uh, someone. Um, Hero of Blade. Yeah, okay, it's fine. I mean, I only have one, one Wrath of God, so... Let's see what exactly I want. Good, it's not showing any swamps. Any swamps? Is it one, two... Three blue sources and one, two, two, three white sources. Okay. Um, I think I want more blue sources than that. Yeah. Okay. That's nine, ten white sources and. Nine blue sources and one, two, three, four, five black sources. Okay. Seems good. Oh, that's okay. Uh, one more island then. Yeah. Let's see. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, twelve. 18, yep. Okay, thanks for watching. See you in.